Hi, and thank you for visiting my channel. For more information, kindly subscribe and follow. Now let's get started. Roman Reigns has been on a quest to reclaim his throne from the usurper, Solo Sokoa. Amid his redemption arc, he is going to forge an unlikely alliance with his bitter rival, Cody Rhodes, to take on the bloodline at Bad Blood. However, Sokoa might put forward a massive proposition before the original tribal chief as bait on the upcoming edition of SmackDown ahead of their huge match. The new tribal chief might orchestrate a cunning plan to create tensions within the unholy alliance of Reigns and Rhodes as he could strategically use the Ulafala as bait. Solo Sokoa could state that if Roman Reigns manages to pin him to win their tag team match at Bad Blood, then the latter would earn custody of the Ulafala, which is currently in Sokoa's possession. A potential stipulation of that magnitude could allure the OTC, but could also prove to be the harbinger of his doomsday. The desire to reclaim the Ulafala might make Reigns hasty and impatient during the tag team match. He might constantly tag himself in from Cody Rhodes to pin Solo Sokoa. Consequently, it could create tensions between him and Rhodes throughout the match. This internal friction between the two bitter rivals could easily provide the bloodline with an opening to capitalize. Just when Roman and Cody could be arguing in one corner of the ring, Solo Sokoa and Jacob Fatu could grab the opportunity to pin either of the two superstars to secure a huge victory in their tag team match at Bad Blood. Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns have been at loggerheads for a very long time. Therefore, the bloodline leader could find this a perfect opportunity to exploit their past and create disputes between them. Therefore, Sokoa putting the Ulafala on the line could work as the perfect bait for Reigns, which could prove to be the reason behind the latter's potential defeat. This above-mentioned scenario is just speculation at this point. However, it would be an interesting bait that has the potential to slay the OTC and the American Nightmare together at Bad Blood. Could Solo Sokoa add a new member to the bloodline to take down Roman Reigns at Bad Blood? Roman Reigns has been impatiently waiting to get his hands on Solo Sokoa for a long time. He would finally get an opportunity to do so at Bad Blood when they collide in a tag team match. However, Sokoa might have a huge plan in store as he might unveil a new member of the bloodline to defeat the OTC. There have been several reports that real-life Bloodline member Hikulio has signed with WWE. It was reported earlier that the latter might be heading to NXT to begin his journey before he makes his debut on the main roster. However, the Bloodline leader could surprise the fans by bringing the 33-year-old directly onto the main roster and adding him to his stable. The chances of it happening are quite high. Hikulio could show up during the climax of the tag team match at Bad Blood and cost Roman Reigns. This could give the Bloodline a potential opening to pick up the win, leaving fans once again shocked. Although the possibility is high, this is nothing but a rumor at this point. With several enticing prospects on the horizon, it has become interesting to see how things transpire at Bad Blood when Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes team up to take on the Bloodline. The tension was palpable on WWE SmackDown as Roman Reigns paced backstage, his mind fixated on the recent events. For months, he had ruled the WWE Universe with an iron fist as the tribal chief. But now, there was a growing shadow looming over his empire, the potential challenge from within his own family. Solo Sokoa, his once loyal enforcer, had grown more defiant, showing signs of rebellion. A rumor was spreading through the WWE locker room. Solo Sokoa had a plan to bait Roman Reigns into a trap on SmackDown, a move that could cost Reigns everything. If Solo succeeded, Roman's iron grip over the bloodline would crumble and the mantle of tribal chief would slip from his grasp. The question hanging in the air wasn't just about whether Roman Reigns would lose, but how he could avoid the fall and what his next move would be if Solo Sokoa managed to bait him. The rising threat Solo Sokoa had always been a silent but menacing figure within the bloodline. He did what Roman asked without question, but there had been subtle changes. Solo was no longer content to play second fiddle. He had tasted power and, perhaps, desired more. The rumblings of a power struggle grew louder after every match, every backstage glance, and every ignored order. Solo's new attitude was more than just ambition, it was a threat. 
a threat to Roman's position as the tribal chief and to his legacy. The whispers from Paul Heyman, the bloodline's wise strategist, were cautious but clear. Solo was planning something, and Roman needed to be ready. Reigns, however, wasn't one to be intimidated easily. His dominance over WWE had been unparalleled, and he knew how to handle internal dissent. But this time, things were different. Solo was family, bound by blood and tradition. If Roman lost control over Solo, it wouldn't just be a personal loss, it would signal the end of the Bloodlines dynasty as the most dominant force in WWE. Solo's Bait the Smackdown audience was buzzing as the main event approached. It was announced that Roman Reigns would address the WWE Universe, but there was an undercurrent of tension. Solo Sokoa had yet to make his presence felt that night, and everyone was waiting to see what would unfold. As Roman Reigns stood in the ring, his demeanor was as composed and powerful as ever. He held the microphone, ready to remind everyone why he was the tribal chief. But just as he began to speak, Solo Sokoa's music hit, sending a wave of excitement through the crowd. Solo walked down to the ring, flanked by no one. There was no Paul Heyman, no Jimmy USO. It was just Solo and Roman, face to face. The air was thick with unspoken words, and Roman's eyes narrowed, watching his younger cousin approach. Solo had a look of defiance, a look that said he was ready to challenge the hierarchy. Solo grabbed a microphone, and for the first time in what seemed like months, he spoke directly to Roman. Roman, Solo began, his voice low and steady, for too long, I've been in your shadow. I've watched you make decisions for the bloodline. I've followed your orders, but now, it's my turn to lead. The crowd gasped, sensing the gravity of Solo's words. Roman, ever the strategist, remained calm, but there was a flicker of uncertainty in his eyes. He couldn't afford to lose control, not in front of the entire WWE universe. You think you're ready to lead the bloodline? Roman asked, his voice dripping with condescension. You think you can handle the weight that comes with being the tribal chief? Solo didn't flinch. I know I can. And tonight, I'm going to prove it. You and me, one-on-one. -on -one. But if you're too afraid, I'll understand. Maybe the tribal chief doesn't have the guts anymore. The challenge was laid bare. Solo was daring Roman to step into the ring with him, knowing full well that Roman's pride wouldn't let him back down. But that was the bait. Roman was a master of mind games, but this time, Solo was the one in control. If Roman accepted, he would be walking into a trap of Solo's design. But if he refused, it would be seen as a sign of weakness, something Roman could not afford. What can the tribal chief do? Roman Reigns faced a dilemma. He could either take Solo's bait and risk losing his position, or he could walk away and show the WWE Universe that he wasn't as invincible as he claimed. But Roman wasn't just a brute force, he was a tactician. He had faced threats before, and he knew there was always another option. Instead of accepting the challenge outright, Roman smiled. He knew what Solo was trying to do. He wasn't going to be lured into a hasty decision. Roman leaned closer to Solo, their faces inches apart, and spoke in a low, dangerous tone. You want to lead the bloodline? You think you can bait me into a fight? You're not ready, Solo. You never were. With that, Roman turned his back on Solo and began to leave the ring. The crowd was stunned. Was Roman walking away from the challenge? Was this the end of the tribal chief's reign? But Roman had one more move up his sleeve. Just as Solo began to smirk, thinking he had won, Roman spun around and delivered a thunderous Superman punch to his cousin. Solo hit the mat, caught completely off guard. Roman stood over him, the microphone back in his hand. You think you can bait me, Solo? You're not ready to be the tribal chief. Not yet. But I'll tell you what, you want your chance? I'll give it to you. Next week, you and me, one-on-one. -on -one. But this isn't just a match. It's a tribal combat. And if you lose, you fall in line, or you're out of the bloodline for good. The stakes were set. Roman had turned the bait on Solo, 
turning the match into something much bigger, a fight for the soul of the bloodline. Now, it wasn't just about Roman's pride. It was about legacy, power, and survival. As the WWE Universe buzzed in anticipation of the match, one thing was clear, Solo Sokoa had wanted to bait Roman into a fight. But now, it was Solo who had been baited, and Roman Reigns, ever the cunning tribal chief, had ensured that no matter the outcome, he would remain the head of the table, at least for now.